Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed from Erin Reed Makes and welcome to my organizational video. This video is part of a collaboration with a bunch of other YouTubers and we're all organizing different things. And today, I'm organizing paint and mediums and mists. Oh my! <laughs> so I don't know about you, but I have a ton of mediums and paints and mists. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna organize all of them, how I categorize all of them, how I store them, and some tips to help find them easily. All right, let's get started. I'm one of many YouTubers that are part of this craft room organization collaboration, all spearheaded by Kara Brandon. She's got an inspirational video every Monday to help you stay organized and the full list of all the videos that are being launched from the very beginning up through the end of the month of January are all listed in my information section down in the bottom of the video. Make sure you leave a comment on all of the amazing collaborators because the more comments, likes, and subscribers are entries to win some amazing prizes that will be announced on Kara Brandon YouTube channel at the beginning of February. So let's get started organizing paints. So all these paints were paints that I've recently bought, have used, but didn't put away properly, were ones that I put in really stupid places that had no business being there. And so I just gathered everything that needed to be organized and put away properly and stuffed it on my desk. After I did that, I started sorting it by brand. I sorted my brand for a couple reasons. One, if I'm doing a video for a company and it's a paid product or it's a collaboration that fits better, I know which drawer to pick from. Second of all, I'm not putting an oil paint with an acrylic paint by accident and it just makes it easier for me to find them if I can go specific by brand versus by type of paint. As I'm sorting some of these paints, I do notice that a couple of them are feeling a little weird. It's kind of rattling around. A couple of them were hard as rocks or I just weren't quite sure if they were decent. So I test them and yep, a couple of them are toast. So I pitch them and a couple of them I also just double check to make sure because it looks like it's been well used that it's not completely dried out. I start with my most commonly used paints, which are all of my plaid paints, the craft paints. And if they don't already have a dot on the top of the lid, I dip my finger in the paint and I add a little dot so I can tell what color it is. And then I sort them by type. So the apple barrels, which are the cheapest paints, and then the folk art paints, and then the all the shimmery ones. And the ones that already have labels on top, I don't worry about doing them. And then I open up a drawer, which is right at my feet. My desk actually has drawers built into the bottom of it, and I sort all the paints into the desk. I keep all of the flat paints, just basic craft paints, to one side, and I put all the shimmery paints on the other side. I also have a drawer right next to it. I actually have three drawers of paint in here, and this one is a combination of my Mod Podge, all the different Mod Podge paints that I have, or some of them, I should say, and there's a few different varieties of those. And then the other side is a ton of oddball paint. So these are other craft paints that I have that are other brands, Deco Art, Craft Smart, a little bit of uh, everything. When I, my kids ask me, hey mom, can I borrow some paint? This is usually the drawer I say go pull paint from. And then my last set of paints, this is my specialty paints, my decor paints, chalk paints, super, super glittery paints, the dragonflies and the glitterifics and the big chunky paints that are this chunky glitterifics. And all of those are already labeled on top. So it makes it really easy when I open up my drawer, I can find exactly what I need. The next set of paints, I already have one of my plastic drawers. This is an Ikea drawer that I got a long time ago. Unfortunately, they no longer sell these, but they fit inside the Calyx units and I use them to sort all kinds of stuff. So since I already had a drawer for all of these products, but it was not well organized and these were all in kind of oddball places and didn't really they should have been in the drawer but they weren't i'm going to go ahead and organize my drawer and put all of the little cutie container paints next to each other and then all of the studio paints which were just a titch too tall to fit inside so i stacked them on top of each other and then all the pens and all the kind of like markers and things that are paints fit in the other drawer and then I just slid it back in its regular home and it is ready to go for whenever I need to use any of my Pebeo paints. I also have the same kind of drawer that I use for my Tattered Angels Glimmer Mists and I had a few that I just didn't put away because I was being lazy. I make sure all of the mists are standing upright and then add the last couple into the drawer and then put it away. So I also have this space here, which is actually in my spare bedroom. And I only have one person who comes to stay here, well, two people, which are my parents. I also use this closet for a lot of other crafty storage. So it's in my house and it's easy access, but I think it's time to sort and organize this closet too. This is where I keep all of my paints and things and extra glues and extra mediums that don't quite fit in my crafty space just because of space. So I tend to keep my bigger bottles, and this is my heavy body paint up here. Found it just fit perfectly. So I'm gonna load up the ones that I have neglected to put back after using them. Oops. I 
I also have some extra Mod Podges and some other kind of like, I don't know, very specific. One of them is like glass paint and things like that. So that is over here as well. And then I just got a whole bunch of these really yummy new stencil butters in from Crafters Workshop. I mean, I literally just got these in yesterday. So there will be a video coming more and it's actually gonna be a live with Crafters Workshop about what these stencils butters are all about. But until then, I need to store them so they're not all in my crafty space. And as you can tell, I already have a few of the little jars and like this one is the tacky when dry wet medium, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna go ahead and load all these up right next to it. I also don't open any of the jars until I know for sure I'm gonna use them. Some of these have seals on them, so as soon as you open it, you're exposing it to more air, and the more air in the jar, the faster it is to dry up. So if you don't have to open them, then don't. Once I do though, just to make it easier, just like I did with the other paints, I will probably put a little dot on the top here just for easier access, but for these paints, because of the way I'm storing them, I can see the colors, so it just makes life easy. But now I have all these little oddball paints, which, you know, so this is like a texture paste that I got from somewhere. Some of them were from classes that I went to. Some of them were freebies that were sent from companies. Some I bought, you know, they're just kind of everywhere. So they're from like three or four different companies like Ranger, 13 Arts, Little Birdie, Nouveau that I just don't have a good home for. They're a singleton or I only have like a couple of distressed ones. So until I really have a better way of organizing them because it's not big enough for a drawer, it's not big enough to go in its own space, uh, it doesn't quite fit anywhere else. They just kind of have their own little home over here and I don't want to lose these little oddballs. So I have a space for them, specifically right there. And again, unless I need to open it to use it for something, it stays closed until I use it, otherwise it has a higher chance of drying up. There was one that was already dry, which we threw away when we were sorting and I could tell it was like really hard and clinky and I have never opened that. So sometimes I just think the seal is not the greatest. So fingers crossed, they last a little bit longer, but yeah, there is a lifespan to paints and mediums and things like that. If they're already super wet, like a mist, they're probably okay, but all the other ones, not so much. So thank you so much for joining and watching this paint mediums mists, just, you know, anything kind of wet that goes into crafting. That really didn't sound great, but you get my idea. How to organize, also how to store in tips and tricks to find it easier. Don't forget to check out all the other amazing videos, part of the Craft Room Organizational Collaboration. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment to the videos because there are some fun giveaways. All the supplies and anything that I possibly could find to link down below, ways I've organized, if they are still available, I have linked it down below in the information section. And if you liked any of the paints, they're all listed down below as well. Some of them are discontinued, but a lot of them aren't. So thanks so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and get yourself organized. Bye everybody.